April and I am back with another video you guys I had to make a sacrifice today to get this video finished and uh, get it up to you guys uh, today is Sunday June 11th and um, 2017 just in case years from now this video is still floating around um, I made the sacrifice to skip family day. Um, the boys are gone with daddy. I really kind of wanted to go with them, but I also kind of wanted to finish what I started with this this wig. I um, you're gonna see in the video to follow that I, I wanted my hair baby pink. I have been desiring that for I know about a year and a half. And um, I had said the next time I buy some hair, I'm just going to buy it already baby pink. But instead of doing that, I just bought blonde. I, You know, at the time when I was ready to purchase, I really wanted blonde hair. And then I just a few days, uh, maybe a week ago, decided that I wanted to, I wanted some baby pink hair. Which I still want some baby pink hair. Now, my question to you guys, do you think... What age bracket do you think you should stop before you, uh, you should, what age is the cutoff for having colored hair, like bright colored or different colored hair? I recently watched Love and Hip Hop and Rashida's mom had purple or blue, dark blue or dark purple hair. Uh, it looked really pretty on her and I just don't know I mean I know that fashion should be age appropriate so you know yes you could do whatever you want to do but you also want to be age appropriate you don't and then I have kids growing up so I don't want to be walking around looking crazy and embarrassing my kids so um, just and the reason I waited while they were in school is so I wouldn't have to interact with the teachers with pink hair. So I'm like, okay, it's summertime. I want some pink hair. I ain't got to deal with nobody. You know, this was for me. So I tried it, and I tried it with the Manic Panic, and I tried the dark pink. At first I purchased, you'll see in the video uh, that I purchased, I forgot the name of it, but you'll see. There was a little vial that's already ready and it's supposed to be baby pink. I put it on this hair but it wasn't taken so I think the hair had to be 613 in order for that baby pink to work. This is 27. This is not quite 613. So it wasn't taken. So I decided to take the Manic Panic in that fuchsia like dark pink and I wanted to dilute it with some uh, conditioner and I put it on the hair and it just it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. It ended up being too dark. I guess I didn't dilute it enough. It ended up being way too dark uh, for my liking. So I'm like, oh my God, when I rinsed it out, it was all blotchy. So I went back again. I mixed up another batch. At this point, I was done with recording. I'm not gonna record anymore. I'm trying to get this thing right so I can present to you guys something that would be I don't know, I don't know, something that would look nice. So I sat there and I played with it and I uh, just took my time and put it on the wig head and I went through and I combed and I d d sectioned off every part of that wig and combed through and brushed through and put the color on top and bottom and it still didn't come out um, the way that I wanted it. So. I rinsed it out. I was like, I ain't got time for this. I've wasted enough time. My kids sitting here, you know, it's time for them to go have some fun. They've been sitting in this house all day. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to, I'm, I'm not going to go there. I'm trying to commit myself to my channel, but I also don't want to neglect my kids at the same time. So I'm like, whatever. I blow, set it under the dryer, took my shower, put my clothes on and popped the wig on. And that's hence the video last video that I posted which I was at uh, Jump Street with the boys just to say hey you know I got my hair pink I'm gonna show you guys how I did it 
Uh, but when I got home and I they went to bed, I took it off and I wanted to like try to curl it. The ickiness, it was just so like a paste had dried on it or something. And I know I washed it thoroughly, rinsed it very thoroughly. I rinsed it like three times until the water was running clear. So I rinsed it good, but it dried just like ilk. And it's still, I uh, wasn't happy. Husband hated it. Didn't even want to go anywhere with me. He was like, where are you going with this pink hair? What, you know, cause it was like bright, bright pink. And I think I could have sold him on the baby pink a lot more than the, the bright pink. So, whatever. So I decided to do a bleach wash on it. Um, if you don't know what a bleach wash, a bleach bath, I'm sorry. I did a bleach bath on it. And if you don't know what that is, you can Google bleach bath hair. And it's just a, a diluted version of bleach you use like your develop your 20 developer your lowest grade developer maybe a tablespoon of bleach and then shampoo and then you just mix it all together and run it down and it'll get it's supposed to they say get the hair ready for other uh, for another color uh, I'm still I haven't given up yet on my baby paint I'm gonna still look around and, and, and just kind of search around and see how can I get this beautiful baby pink hair that I want. Uh, but right now, this is where I'm at. I did the bleach bath. It worked like a dream because if you see in the video to follow and the video that I posted, that the hair was like very, very, very bright, uh, hot pink. It wasn't baby pink, it was hot pink. And, um, so it, the, the, the bleach bath worked really well. Um, I still got a couple of spots like this right here that has pink on it. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see it. Uh, but for the most part, it got all the pink out. So I'm gonna still kind of do some research and see can I find a way to get this hair baby pink without bleaching it again because it, the way that it feels if I put any more bleach on this hair it is going to be gone especially the frontal the frontal is already dying um, it's so thin right now I'm just you know I'm gonna probably do like a hot oil treatment on it maybe take some coconut oil and just heat it up and put it on there and let it sit or something or put it on there and then put it in the microwave. I'm gonna try to bring the life back to this hair, but it is really feeling very fried and brittle right now. So I know if I bleach it again, it's done. So anything I do as of now is gonna have to be something mild. But anyway, I'm, I'm going on and on and I really hate when my videos be so long because nowadays people's attention span is just not that good. So I'm gonna stop where I am. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see the video of me trying to get this hair pink. Since I already recorded all of that footage, I am not gonna let it go to waste. I need to post this video. So that's why I stayed behind on this family day. So I can get this video out to you guys because I already, my creative jeans and juices are starting to really, really kick into overdrive. And I got a nail idea that I'm playing with that I just, I want to bring that to you guys as well. So I got my grounding stones around me. I'm trying to stay grounded and focused. And uh, I'm just going to make sure that I get this stuff up to you guys. So stay tuned.
So I'm gonna have to add this little clip in there. I had to go ahead and redo this. I uh, had to go on and kick it to professional like manner. Um, I went ahead and put her on the wig head and after I blow dried her, I remixed um, because it was so blotchy, it was just a little bit too blotchy for me. I remixed it with the conditioner and put it on the wig head and I had to do it like, you know, in sections and make sure I brush it through so I can get a even color so it wouldn't be blotchy. Um, it's darker than I wanted, but I don't think I'm going to leave it on there as long as oh the bottle yeah. tells me to, which is 30 minutes. I'm going to rinse it out before then because, to be honest, I don't really want it this color. Like, I wanted it kind of like a bark kind of pink. Um, I didn't want it as intense, but I'm going to go ahead and finish applying it. I tried to do it the quick and easy way, but those were the results I got, quick and easy results.